Hunters people, they're under, uh, it's a curse, like an agenda, you know? Yeah. Even, because even some of them nations, them are African nations, man. Them Hamas, they don't even call themselves black, man. You know? They, they, they identify themselves as whatever country they come from, you know? Or their tribes, their virus tribes. Only Jack identifies himself as, uh, as black. I'm ah, black. You know? Uh, but have you been taught that now as well? Right, so Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 5. Like That's why it's going to be hell, one hell of a surprise when people can now, when people, the time when the people can actually see that all along it was us, man. You know? Right. It's going to be one hell of a surprise, man. That's why it tells you that we are Wisdom of Solomon 5. Man. Then, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, starting at 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him like and right made no account of his labours. Yeah. This is standing in great boldness because right now is we're claiming our nationality back in great boldness, man. You know, we are saying we are the people of the Bible. Okay? We are the ones whom God has is gonna save at the end. Okay, the people of the Bible, uh the prophets, okay, the people whom are whom are uh, of the kingdom, okay, the people of the promises. Okay, stand in great and tell them we are those people, man. Okay, in the face of our enemies. Alright? It says, verse 2, When they see it, they shall be troubled with fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. And if you go to uh, Revelation 12, and uh, Revelation 12, it tells you, man, they stood upon their feet an exceeding great army, and they that saw them, uh, uh, they that saw them uh, feared, you know? So that's what they're starting to see now, man. They're starting to see something is going on, man. This uh, book of Malone calls, calls it uh, the Hebrew Israelism. You know, Hebrew Israelism. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Because it's because of the way it's, it's growing so much so that, you know, they, they have to send people now to try and to come, try and quench that fire, man. Okay? To try and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, make it look, make, make us look like, uh, you know, we're nothing but, no, 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 I was still looking. I was, just, I was laughing at what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, you try to make it look like we're a bunch, either a bunch of terrorists yeah. or a bunch of angels. Because look at Malone, even in the new video, he says, uh, uh, I could see every time I was speaking, uh, I, could, I, was, I was speaking to some of them, they wanted to put the hurt on me. You see how, 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 how he is? He's a subtle snake. That Very guy, subtle, man. man. Yeah. I could see some of them, they even want to put the hurt on me. Yeah. You know? He says uh, every time he's speaking to the Hebrew Israelites, some of them want to put the hurt on him. Woke up, yeah. Woke up, yeah. Well, do, very, very subtle, that guy. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. He's very subtle with his wedding, man. He does yeah. that all the time, man. Yeah. And, and you know? if you notice, he's, he's got a. It's a demon. It's a de It's a Babylon demon because yeah. he, he speaks very fast. So by the time you say "Hold on a minute," <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he's good. To, he's fucking dead. He's yeah, a devil. That, that guy. Emotion, emotional face. But if, he's, yeah. He's really concerned for the for the world beings of the people and all that, man. When really just been a devil, man. That's right. You know? the devils are clever. That's why there's no denying that Book of Balon truly is an Edomite, man. That's right. Um, they know where that guy is an Israelite. The major. You know, scripture said they are uh, they are spirit to bear with our spirit. Man. Yeah. You know. Otherwise, it would have been at the back of the mind, you know what, maybe he is true, this guy, what they're saying, man. Yeah. But he's coming full force against us in any way possible. Because the truth is cutting him, man. He knows it's true. Yeah. I believe he knows it's true. But he's going to try and suppress it. Hey, man, if this, this truth, it should be on the news all the time, man. Yeah. It's a phenomenon, if it were, in the words of, um, in these sorts of words, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I can just make a point. You can tell he only wants to hear what he wants to hear. Yeah, that's it. That's All it. the response videos, he only wants to take out from them what he wants to take out from them. Yeah. Anything that's negative, that's why he's going to take out from the videos. But anything that we, we do, uh, historical wise, yeah. uh, to, prove, to prove who we are as a people, uh, the scriptures, to prove who we are in the curses, and then uh, identify ourselves by, by the will of the scriptures, he'll never take any of that. Man. Yeah. You know? It says, uh, when they see it, they shall be troubled with fear and shall be amazed at, his strangeness, at the strangers of, of his salvation. And they shall be amazed at, amazed at the strangers of his salvation. How is that going to come? By way of those chariots, man. Right. You know? Yeah. When they when, uh, get back into the form. It says, so far beyond all that they looked for. Uh, they get back into the form and... Uh, Alright? 
Because could be see those region. chariots, I mean, everybody has always considered them as something that are uh, little strange aliens. They only see in the movies. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, they come down. They're gonna come down and do experiments on people. You know. But those those so-called UFOs, those are the chariots of heaven. Man. Okay, the vehicles of heaven. Yeah. Every time you see a UFO, those of you that are they get tormented by UFOs, who don't understand, those are angels, man. Yeah. You know. Well, that's, yeah. that's the strangest. They, they, when they shall see the strangers of his salvation, because when, once they see those chariots, when they come and they start beaming up the elect, then that's 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 salvation, man. Salvation is not when you die and then you go to heaven and then you don't get salvation and you go to hell. However, the, the Christian explained it. Okay? Right, Matthew 24 and 30 it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Remember I said in Second Corinthians five, he said they shall be they shall they shall be with fear. Okay, it says there. It says they, they shall see. Uh, they shall be against the Lakia. It says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and glory. And they shall mourn. When they see the Son of Man coming, they shall mourn. They start crying out. Okay. It says in that revelation of that. Well, yeah, they will be well. They're gonna know. They're gonna know in that day, man. Because everything that you ever known is gonna be something. It's gonna be completely different from what you got taught, man. Uh, Isaiah 66 and 15. Yeah. You know? Because everything that you ever got taught concerning those so-called UFOs or those called chariots is gonna be false. You're gonna see on one hand they start taking up. They showed you. We spoke about it last week. They showed you that in that movie. Uh, this is the end, you know, when they beam up people. That's how you're going to see the, uh, the strangeness of the salvation. They come and start beaming up brothers now. Brother, it even says somewhere in the scriptures that it says, do not be afraid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because it's going to be an eerie feeling. Yeah. So imagine you know what is to come and people that just don't know what's going on. Right? Yeah. Wisdom and, wisdom and knowledge, stability, stability of the time. Right. That's you know? it. Yeah. Because we're going to have understanding of what they are. Man. Right. That's it. For us, when we see, when we see the chariots, mm. we will be praising the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Everybody else is going to be quiet, man. You know? They're not here yet. <laughs> Wait, they're here. They're there, though. We can't see them. Nah, <laughs> right. You got cut, bro. <laughs> and real quick, this is the look 21 and 28, and it says, as of 27, it says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power mm. and great glory. And when these things shall begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption is nigh. You know? That's a beautiful scripture right there. Right. You know? So for us, when we start to see this, the chariots now making, uh, making their oh, appearance, beautiful, brother. It, might, it might not be all at once, because right now, brothers see chariots every time. They're very far away. You see a little blip in the sky. But you know it's a chariot, you know, because you understand it's a chariot. A little blip in the eye, okay, okay. The, the angels, you, you know, the angels are giving you confidence yeah. that they are watching you, man. You know, um. they are protecting you, man. Okay? <clears throat> so now when, when, when they start to make themselves get more manifest, the biggest chariot just flies over London. Yeah. You know, maybe hella close. So close you can throw something at it. You know? What is everybody else, what are they going to be doing, man? Shooting their pants. You know? In the movies, man, the child just comes and sits in top of one particular city. He just stands there, man. Yeah. You know, there's this movie they made in South Africa, uh, District Nine. Yeah. The child, man, they, 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 they managed to get all the aliens out, but they could never bring it down in any form or fashion. Well, it's like you said, man. In that day, I mean, you watch the movies and everyone's scared, but in that day, you're gonna see real fear, man. True, brother. Yeah, real, real fear, man. That's it, brother. In the same uh, book, it tells you, man. Let me see. Uh, Luke 20, 21 and 26, it says, Men's heart fell in them for the fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Let me read this. Shadow one, brother. Isaiah 66 and 15. Shadow for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. 
For by fire and by his sword will the, world, will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. And he says, the Lord will come with chariots, man. Okay, with this uh, chariots, you know, what? Like a whirlwind. Yeah, you know, like a whirlwind. What's a, what does a whirlwind do, man? So that's a spinning, spinning uh, motion, man. And he says, read right, on the second part of the scripture. It says, for, for by fire. And by, for by fire. And by his sword will the Lord sword, bleed with all flesh. All flesh. When the Lord comes back, he's going to start shooting laser beams. That's the Lord's sword at that time. He's start shooting down laser beams and all the wicked motherfuckers. You know? Like that movie, all the world, the world, the world oh, you know? All them times, they're just being zapped, just turning to dust, man. Inten so, in in intensified heat. Yeah. Hey, and, they show you that them, them aliens had no mercy. They had no mercy. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, second Ezra 6. Second Ezra 13. Second Ezra 13, and it came to pass after seven days I dreamed a dream by night, and lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the waves thereof. And this is this is uh this is, the Lord gave uh, Ezra uh, the prophecy by way of a dream. Okay, go ahead. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. Let me get uh Psalm 68. Okay, the thousand of heaven. The, the thousand of heaven is uh, the, the rest of the chariots, man. Uh, uh, Psalm 60, 68 and, uh, and 17. comes back man, he's, gonna, he's coming back with a whole army man, a whole army. You're gonna see one massive ox chariot that's gonna come and then you're gonna see other chariots that are gonna come with him. Man. It's gonna be an, a, 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 what do you call that man, an alien invasion. A host. Or an angel invasion. That's right. <laughs> this is Psalms 68 verse 17. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. That as in Sinai, in the holy place. The chariots of, 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 of God. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands and thousands of angels. Okay? And the Heavenly Father is among them, because Yahweh Shai is going to come with them at, at that time. Okay, so it's going to be Yahweh Shai, and it's going to be thousands and thousands of angels with him. Go back to that one. You know? Well, I started uh, three again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel 7 verse 9 And beheld till the thrones were cast down And the Ancient of Days did sit His garment was white as snow And the hair of his head like the pure wool His throne was like the fiery flame And his wheels as a burning fire His wheels as a burning fire, okay? All them lights around him, the chariots and all that a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were open. Uh, what's that? What's that? Thousand and thousands of the angels. Okay, there are these thousand and thousands of angels. Can you just imagine? Just think about how one angel is so powerful can destroy the whole earth. But the Lord is coming back with thousands of them. Right. You know, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's going to be a glorious, 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 uh, uh, uh what's the word? What's the event, word? event. It's going to be a glorious event. Our time out of Egypt, that's, it gets spoken about you today, man. So now, this time coming now, it's going to be a whole different thing. Right. You know? Right. Isaiah 63 verse 1 Who is this that cometh from Eden with dyed garments from Bosra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. What's his greatness of his strength? Those chariots, you know? 
you know, one chariot, they can, can take down the whole nation. They can just imagine yeah. coming, coming to make a point, man. Yeah. All those thousands of angels. Yeah. Coming to make one hell of a statement, man. Yeah. Can I make a point on that? Because uh, one of the readings. Can I make a point? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Keep it down. Keep it down. Yeah. Uh, second is just 13 to 3 says, And I beheld, and lo, that, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, and when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. All the, things, all the things trembled that were seen under him. You know? All the nations and the armies, they're gonna tremble. You know? So can you imagine if you don't have the understanding of what's going on, man, you're gonna shit your pants, man. Right, that's it. It's gonna be a fearful sight, man. You know? Right. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, they all burned that heard his voice. Like on earth faileth when it feedeth the fire. And what's his voice meant? Those laser beams will start coming out and zapping people. Yeah, so what I'm saying, that's pretty much what we're doing. And after this I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. All the nations, all the nations on the planet Earth right now, it doesn't matter which regardless how they, they, they say they are Christians or they love Jesus or whatever, when the Lord comes back is here, they are all going to attempt to fight against him. Esau is going to be leading them. Esau, so-called white man today, is going to lead them to fight against Yahweh Shai. The Chinese are going to try to fight against Yahweh Shai. Russia, or anybody, that's what they mean, they're going to try and fight against the forces of the heavens. Right? Right, Verse 6, But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain, and flew upon it, and flew up upon it. A great mountain, because if you watch that movie, Independence Day, what do you see? This massive, biggest chariot comes, and then other little chariots come, okay? So this chariot, who knows how big it's gonna be, man? Ezra, he tried to see from where it starts from, and from where it ends from, it's like, it's gonna see, man. So he called it a mountain, you know? Go ahead, Doc. It says, um, but I would not have seen the region or the place where out the hill was graven. You couldn't see and from where it starts and where it ends from, man. Maybe just go right, go ahead, Doc. And after this I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, and yet does fight. No, because that's why the scriptures in the book of Revelation speaks about the war in heaven. Okay. Because if, if you see that kind of power, what do you do, man? You put your weapons down, man. Put your hands up and surrender. No, it, yeah, that's it, that's it. I you give know? up, yeah. Yeah, that's why, like, that's why Israel shows up his power to his nations. He goes in there, and what do they do? They put their arms down, man. They don't have to say, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go as your, as your prisoners. But these nations, when they come back, when the Lord's going to put a different spirit on them, they're going to see the power, but they're still going to attempt to fight against the Lord. You know? Right, the Lord's gonna make them. The Lord's gonna make them fight against them. Okay? Um, and lo, yeah. as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. What's the like, uh, Verse uh, nine. So see, thank you. Yeah. So I'll come next. Verse two, uh, two eleven. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue cast out sparks and tempests. Sparks and tempests. Those laser beams when they're coming out, just zapping people up, turning them into dust, zapping their military gear down, their vehicles, uh, their fighter jets, all those uh, those things, what, what you call those bombers that they have on the scene, those big ass ships. You know? The submarines. The carriers, the carriers. The carriers, yeah, yeah, those yeah. things are supposed to be unsinkable. Yeah. It's very hard. Aircraft to carriers, things. yeah, yeah. But the Lord is gonna be zapping them and they're gonna sink. That's right. You know? Right, that. And they were all mixed together, verse 11, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude, all which those is prepared habits. to fight. Right. And burned them up every one, so that upon a sudden, of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. And that's all that's, all that's going to be left to, all, to Esau and all his nations, man. Nothing but dust and nothing but smoke, man. you know? So before the Lord comes back, then he's going to allow Esau to carry on his, his flight to try and fulfill this new, new world order, to go on to, to see if he can protect himself. But at the end of the day, the Lord is just going to come, okay, now it's time now, you know? 
Now it's time. Now it's time to start zapping now. Yeah. Okay, that's why they, at least okay, nobody knows exactly what time that will be. Because if, if the Lord gave us a particular time, first of all, Jake would wait till last minute to come to And second of all, Iso will prepare to run away before the Lord comes back. <laughs> you know, so the Lord says, you come as a gift of the night. This is on Revelations 1 verse 7. Behold, I'm coming from clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth right. shall well because of him. Even so, our man. And every eye shall see him. Man. Because it's gonna be it's gonna be a worldwide thing, man. Okay? It's gonna be all over the skies. Alright? It's gonna be it's gonna be while the Lord is delivering his elect, he's gonna be destroying people. And the kingdoms of the earth shall well because of him. Okay, going back to the second wisdom of Solomon, it's gonna, that's why the scripture says it's so, it's so much beyond what they looked for, man. But they did not expect, they, they did not expect anything like that to ever happen, man. you know. Especially when they see the people who the Lord is gonna be delivering, right. you know. Right. You know. <coughs> this is Habakkuk chapter three verse one, a prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet. Upon a uh, shingonoth. O Lord, O Yahweh, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Yahweh, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. Okay, this is uh, about seeing the prophecies, the prophecy of the Lord destroying this place. And he said, in wrath, remember mercy to me, you see. Because he was seeing the level of destruction that the Lord was bringing. You know? Like it's still the same. So God came from Timon, and the Holy One from Mount Paan, Salah. His glory covered the heavens and the earth. The chariots, okay? The chariots are going to cover the heavens. That's his praise in the skies. Okay, them so called two airports, you know, that's all in the scriptures, all about the scriptures, they speak about the chariots. Alright? Right, uh. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding, and there was the hiding of his power. Well, basically, and his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand. The horns is talking about the lasers. Lasers that come out of the chariots. That's what it says. And there was the hiding of his power. And that's the power. And those horns, the horn represents what? Power, strength. So when them lasers come, there's a, there's a verse that says that this, the, the, um, the, the killing of the Lord will be from one end of the earth to, into the other. Alright? It says, um, speaking about the horns, maybe power. That's why he says in that book, uh, uh, Second Ezra 13, that that all will be left with that but dust. If Esau shoots you on, on, on with his weapons, they might chop you up in pieces, man. Your arm can be there, your head there, your leg somewhere else. But these things will live, they're so powerful, they'll leave nothing but dust. You know? Yeah, come on, is it? But I said, um, and he had horns coming out of his hand, right? So you think that's an actual hand? This is Deuteronomy 33, verse, uh, let me start with verse 2. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seir unto them, right? He shined forth from Mount Paan, right? And he came with ten thousands of saints. Right. From his right hand went a fiery law for them. Remember how I said that the horn came out of his hand? Well, out of his hand came that horn, the fire. That, that, that laser beam. See how the scriptures connect? Yeah. You know, we just read how it said um back in Habakkuk 3 verse what, uh, 4 and his brightness was as the light, right? Right, right? And then it said um he had horns coming out of his hand. And there was the hiding of his power. So let's go back. It says um, he shined forth from Mount Bahan from his right hand when a fiery law for them. Alright, so we know what the, that, the, what that horn is. That horn is the fire. 
that came out of his hand in the chariot. Alright, the hand talking about the Hawashai is his right, right hand, right? The Hawashai is his right hand, the saving of his right hand. So that when Yahawashai comes, which is the hand of the Lord, which is the most high's hand, that's his power, that the fire is gonna come out, the horn is gonna come out. Right. And that's what's gonna be the killing instrument to, the, to punish the heathens. Right? So I said, um, we read that again. And he said, the Lord came from Sinai and rose up from Seal unto them. He shined forth from Mount Paran and he came with ten thousands of saints. From his right hand went a fiery law for them. Right, because that's how the laws was carved into the, um, the, st the stony uh, tablets. Right? He came down and carved Let's go back to uh, Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 4 and his brightness was as the light he had horns coming out of his hand and there was and there was the hiding of his power so we know what that is before him went the pestilence and burning coals went forth at his feet right Before him went the pestilence and burning coals went forth at his feet. Right, because what did the Lord say? He said, What? He said, Son, there'll be fire, but what will light if the fire already be kindled? Exactly. All right? So the Lord is coming with fire. And the Benjamites, they, they, they saw many trees about how, how Babylon would be destroyed by fire, man. They saw many prophecies. Even though they did it really ignorant, they wasn't. Um, they were prophesying in part, but they, they didn't really know in part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they prophesied in part, but they didn't have the full understanding of what yeah. the scriptures were saying. Alright? That's why they, they kind of denounced the Bible. They say it's a white man's book. But they still speak like prophecies concerning Babylon being destroyed, fire. You know, oh. Lord and Rastafarians do that. It's in their spirit. Right, it's in their spirit. Because their ancient foreparents saw these great visions to the point where even their children is inside the blood of their children man to actually <laughs> feel feel those visions man and start singing them in their tunes there's a there's a, 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 a prophecy of um, benjamin benjamin shall raven, raven as a wolf man. yeah yeah shall yeah. raven as a wolf all right genesis as well as a wolf before the, a wolf before you see the presence of the wolf you'll always hear the howling man you always hear the howling all right? That's how you know that wolves are nearby. So before destruction comes, what will, be, what will the Benjamites do? They will speak, they will speak of forthcoming events concerning the destruction of America. All right. Like for example, I don't cut, the, I don't cut you, brother. Like for example, you had, because you got all of the tribes of Israel. But guess what? What you had was you had a Benjamite by the name of Desmond Decker. And he had made a tune called uh, We Are the Israelites. And that came from one tribe. Then it come from Levi. Then it come from Judah. That came from Benjamin. Right. So that shows you what the brother is saying according to the prophecy of Benjamin. They were raving as a wolf. But what were they raving about? They were raving about things that was going to come to pass. Or things that we are as a people, so to speak. You know? so that's very true. And the, and the Benjamites always called this place Babylon. They called the police Babylon. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So it's them. It's our Psalms 18. And 12, and it says, at that brightness that was before him, he says, Psalms 18 and 12, and it says, at the brightness that was before him, his thick clouds passed, hailstones and cause of fire. The Lord also thundered in heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and cause of fire. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them. He sent out his arrows and scattered them. You mean to tell me that there's wooden arrows in the chariots? Man-made arrows, bows and arrows. Are the, are the angels coming with bows and arrows, man? To take down mankind? There must be a hell of a lot of arrows, man. Up in the chariots. Which means there must be some type of... Uh, what do you call them? Blacksmith in the uh, chariots, man. I don't think so. The, the arrows are talking about the lasers fiery stream that issued forth from the chariots. Alright? Go ahead. He said, his arrows and scattered them 
and he shot out light, lightnings and discomfited them. So saw out lightnings and discomfited them. Alright, go ahead. Then the channels of water were seen and the foundation of the world were discovered at the rebuke. O oh Lord, at the blast of thy breath, O oh Lord, at the blast, at the uh, at the blast of the, the breath of thy nostrils. Right. Okay. At the blast of the breath of his nostrils, the, the floods, they were discovered, man. Talking about these other nations. They were discovered to be what? Just what men. Because they're making their huffing and puffing, imagining a vain thing, right? Raging. But when the Lord comes, the, the Lord's gonna show these nations for what they are. But worms. Do you know that the most I considers that's the most I consider Israel as being a worm. Did you know that according to the Bible, the most I looks at us as being a worm? <laughs> oh Jacob, thou worm. And we're supposed to be the greatest people. We're, so if we're the greatest people and the most I considers us to be a worm, what about the other nations? And they're wow. inferior to us. Wow. They're less than a worm. Wow. Spit on That's spit, man. The Most High doesn't even regard them. When you read about the scriptures, the Most High is only concerned with his people. <laughs> Getting back to the end. The other nations, they only mention when it comes to them, the Most High using them to punish us or slavery. Pretty much. Right? That's why. That's why it was a, one of the curses was that we discarded all the nations and they're gonna think like we're them. Yeah, you know? Exactly. Exactly. So that was the case, man. So imagine if you're on that nation and then you live a good life. You know, you don't, you know, being an Israelite and knowing that's what's gonna happen to you in the future, but that would be like, ah, come on, man. I'm gonna be like these heathens. You know? Right, right, right. And Asalakia, now this is the story of uh, King David, because for one point of time, King David had to be physically be delivered uh, from, I believe it was the Philistines. So that's the sum of that story that happened, because the Lord came and then. The, 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 the child started shooting out laser beams at all the men that surrounded him and then the child took him up and then took him somewhere else. And, and it wasn't even the Philistines, yeah. it was absurd. Yeah man. Absurd. Let him look at the thing. Move the his garment back. Where you can make and drive. Yeah. Where you can drive. Benjamin, Benjamin. Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin, brother. Yeah, yeah, so. Son of the right. Psalms 18, the first part says huh? to the chief musician. All, all different. All yo, yo, come, come on me. We've got all different ones. We've got all different ones. Oh, I'll get to him in a second. All, all different in To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. Right? Yeah? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. At verse 16, and he says, He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my from, from my strong enemy, yeah. and from them he hated me, for they were too strong for me. Right, so this is talking about how King David, because King David, a so-called black man, he had no problem fighting the Philistines. They were easy for him. Okay? The Philistines was easy pickings for King David. The only problem that he had was King Saul. Why? Because King Saul was the anointed of the Most High. King David knew not to, not to touch Saul. Alright? Because he was the Most High's anointed. So that's why King David always pulled back and, you know, you know, eased up. Because the Most High was pretty much with his anointed. It was an unrighteous thing to go to war with the Most High's anointed. So yeah. The Most High had to physically deliver David from Saul. Because the Most High really was with, 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 was with King David. But it wasn't his time to reign. It wasn't his time. Right. And King David understood, the, the integrity of David understood that. Okay. But that's concerning the deliverance of, you know, how the Most High delivers his elect. And in the times to come, the Most High is going to deliver his elect from the four corners of this earth. That's in Matthews uh, 24 verse 30. Right. Huh? Right.